Good morning, guys. Happy, what's today? Today's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. We are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. Good morning, good morning. Let me see if I this can stay here so I can look at it. Good morning. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Hope you guys are ready to get this day started. Hope you had a good day on yesterday. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. And if your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. They can binge watch all the Fearless Morning Shows over there. Yeah, I feel like that's, is that better? Yeah. Good morning, and how do you do? So I hope you guys enjoyed the show yesterday. Yesterday we talked about can you have fun on this journey? Absolutely, you can. You can have fun on this journey. So if you missed that, we talked about how you can have fun. And we talked about, um, Judge, do we have to be so serious all the time? No, nope. you can absolutely have all the fun in the world. So, good morning. We're gonna have some more fun. But we asking questions today. That's what we doing. Good morning. Good morning. All right. If this is your first time joining the Fearless Morning Show, welcome. <clears throat> Great morning, Miss Valerie. Ms. Valley just recently had a birthday. I hope it was amazing. It was May 1st, right, Ms. Valley? So I hope you have an amazing birthday. Y'all, If um, so y'all know I've been giving away books in my front yard. Good morning, Alicia. I've been giving away books in my front yard. I'm out. Because the books I got now, I'm not willing to part with. So if y'all want to give away, clean out your closets and give away some books, I'm putting them out in my front yard. Like, one lady stopped, and she took every book I had out there. She said, thank you, <laughs> and loaded up her car April 30th. So, Miss um, Val, I hope your birthday was amazing. But if you guys have some books laying around that you don't want, y'all know I'm Nerd Central, and I will give them away if, it, if it's something I don't want to read first. I will give them away. Um, so, I, I've, I've officially run out of books to give away. <laughs> I can see it was amazing. I saw all the videos people sent you of your birthday. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. Yesterday, we talked about can you have fun on this journey? The answer is yes, you can. Um, but today, I got questions. I got some questions today. So let's get right into the quote of the day. Accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. And that's by George S. Patton. Accept the challenges so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. Life can be challenging. You can get over it. You will make it. And then you get to celebrate. Good morning, Kiva. Good morning. Good morning. And then you get the, the feeling of victory that you've accomplished that thing that you were once afraid of. Right? Uh, what was our quote? Um, something Nelson Mandela... <clears throat> was I quote on yesterday, was it yesterday? Um, he talked about fear, let me see. But you can do the thing, accept that challenge. You're gonna be okay. On five, six, he learned, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. And that is by Nelson Mandela. So he's saying, he's not saying that your fear is ever gonna go away. He's saying you do have the ability to conquer it. And I love this call. Accept that challenge, boo. Accept the new thing that you're trying to do. And then when you complete it, honey, feel the exhilaration of the victory. Yes, I did that. I do that all the time. Yes, I did that. Yes. Get excited. <laughs> you are required to be happy. You are allowed and you are required. None of that is taken from you, okay? All right, let's get right into the thought of the day because I got questions and I got to read this so I get it right. Ask yourself this question because I had to ask myself this question. So if I got to ask it, I'm passing it on to you. And this is Mental Health Month. I will be doing uh, a mini series for um, next week on mental health. 
Um, so I'll tell you guys about that later. Ask yourself this question. Am I in a space that fulfills my destiny or that places me further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? Are you in a place that fulfills your destiny? So it's two parts. Are you in a place that fulfills your destiny, one, or places that, or that places may further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? Are you where you are that's fulfilling you? Or are where you are placing you on your path to your destiny to be fulfilled? Meaning, are you moving in the right direction? If you're not where you are, are you moving in the right direction though? So that's the question today. So we, we came right back to asking questions and thinking about this thing and, and working it out. Because we realized that we've got to take advantage on, was that Monday we talked about taking advantage? Taking advantage of where you are and using it to the best of your ability. And do not set limits. I love that quote. Don't set limits to the immense wisdom of the divine order that lives in you. Learn from it, grow from it, and move on. Come on, Alicia, in a good place. And if we are, which brings us to the quote, if we're in a good place and we're moving in the right direction, boo, feel the victory of you conquering the fear of that thing. Go back and look at what you were thinking that you assumed that you could not do just last month, last year, and look at you moving and being in that <clears throat> right now. Look at, look at where you come. And can we be excited and, and celebrate that victory? Feel the exhilarating uh, feeling of, yes, you did that, girl. You did that. I pumped myself up. <clears throat> I'm going to pump myself up if nobody else does. Jojo, you did that. <laughs> I finished book four. I almost finished with book five. I celebrated last night. I went to bed before midnight. <laughs> Feel the exhilaration of the victory, of the challenge that you overcame. Because we, we're, cel we're celebrating day ones, <clears throat> not one days. So my question to you, ask yourself this question. Am I in a space that fulfills me? Or a space that places me further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? Now, if you can, if you're saying no to all all the above, then let's do some self care games. So it's not too late. You can always join bit.ly forward slash gangster care and start asking those questions, and allow yourself to see the answer that's going to come, and see what you need to do. Because remember, the abundance and the blessing is in the instructions. Sometimes we've got to take instructions for we got to ask for help and that's where our abundance and our blessing lies in the instructions so when we ask for help or if we ask for guidance or general Jojo what do you think about this and you ain't got to ask me y'all know I talk about myself in third person Jojo this is what I was thinking and maybe this because somebody may have the answer that you're seeking but it's in the instructions so that means you got to ask first seek what? And you shall find. And in the seeking, you've got to ask. The seeking is asking. Because you don't know quite yet what you're looking for. And even if you do know what you're looking for, and you can't seem to get a grasp on the answer, seek, find, ask, get. What you're searching for is in the instructions. The answer, the abundance, is in the instructions of the day. So ask yourself those questions today. Because it's going to be an amazing Thursday, right? Are you in a place that fulfills your destiny? And, and look at it, all aspects. I look at it in all aspects. And I can say no to a few aspects in my life. I'm, I may be in the place that is pushing me to my destiny to be fulfilled. But in some aspects, I'm not where my destiny is being fulfilled. I'm working on it. I'm in the right direction. And I have built up that memento to keep me moving. And we're celebrating all victories and the challenges that we have overcome. From yesterday to today was a challenge for most of us. 
and we should be glad and excited about that thing. I don't want you to think that it has to be this great grandiose oh with glitter and blossoms that you have to celebrate things. Look at where you were last year uh, at things you thought you could never accomplish. You never thought you could start a business last year. Yet here you are. You never thought that you could think that you could possibly do it, first of all. But yet here you are thinking the thought that it's a possibility. Can we celebrate that? Can we get excited about that? And that's the fun part of this journey. Yes, it's serious. I take I take everything that I share, the questions that I ask, I take it very seriously. But you can have fun. And this is the fun part. This is the fun part where you get to celebrate that thing. But ask yourself those questions this morning on this wonderful Thursday. Because it's going to be an amazing day. It's going to be an amazing day. So ask yourself these questions. Am I in a space that fulfills my destiny? What does that look like? What does a space of you fulfilling your destiny look like? And there's no right or wrong answer. The answer is yours to give. What does it look like? What do you need in order to grow? What, you remember focus. What are we cultivating? <clears throat> what are you growing? Are you in a space that even allows you to do that thing? Or are you in a space or a place that's putting you further on the path of your destiny to be fulfilled? And if you're questioning if you're on your path of your destiny, <clears throat> let's look at it this way. If you're thinking that you even have a destiny to fulfill, you're on the right path. If you're even allowing yourself just the iota of a second to think that perhaps, yes, I can achieve that thing, you're on, you're on the right path. If you're working diligently and you're looking at yourself and realize that you, you need to take responsibility and move forward in your life, you're on the right path. It starts here first. If, if this isn't willing to go, the body will never follow. You will never, <laughs> you will never lose weight, Jojo. Okay? And that, I choose that because that's the easiest one. Or you will never find a better job or the relationship if you don't start day one, right, with the work that's required. You will one day yourself to death. One day. Ooh, child, one day. Girl, one day I'm going to go. One day I'm going to buy. No, it is, today is day one that you're on that path to get it. Not one day. Day one. Today is the day that you're on your path to get that. And so if you're questioning, if you're on that path, look at what you were thinking last month, last year, last week, shoot, yesterday. And look at how you're thinking today. And if there's a difference between the two, boo, you, you moving in the right direction. So you got to start with the small things. <clears throat> start with baby steps. And if your baby step is, that you have a different mindset than you had yesterday. You decided I'm not going to be negative Nelly today. Because I want you to understand. I had a conversation yesterday. <clears throat> I had a conversation yesterday with a friend. Who said. Um, their anxiety was on 10,000. Right. And they were. Their anxiety was high because they were watching the news. And they were worried about this. And they was worried about that. And I said all of that is absolutely true there's things going on in this world that we cannot control and and i can only give suggestions i can only give examples of what has helped me but i want to um, and it is my hope that it makes you to be aware of how we talk to ourselves and our thinking because it is your thoughts that bring this so i said why don't you turn off the tv take a break from this thing, take a break from that person because every and you have to look at where you you have to look at where your triggers come from. You have to look at and realize, hey, I every time I think this thought or I'm with this person, this is what's happening to my body. Your body is screaming out the answers. You're just refusing to acknowledge it. Okay, your blood pressure is high. You get that anxious feeling. You start to worry. And then here go your what ifs. And you're down in that dark circle hole. And you can't seem to get out. So then you go to sleep. But then you wake up. And then you're right back in the 
anxiety of it again. So the first step to live past crazy is always to be quiet. Turn off everything. Give your mind a break. You owe that to yourself to give your mind a break from all the work because this is what's happening to your body. Your body is living in a constant state of stress. So if your body is living in a constant state of stress, nothing can function correctly. Your heart, your lungs, your stomach, your blood, nothing. Everything is in emergency mode. And when everything is in emergency mode, it doesn't matter what you feed it, it will not receive it. Y'all know I'm a nerd, sorry. It won't receive any of it. And so you've got to give your body a break. And then you're like, well, Jojo, I worry, yeah, but then I go to sleep and I get rest. But this doesn't stop because you've amped it up all day long. This doesn't stop. And if this is not stopping and resting, because if your mind doesn't rest, and if there's no peace out of the chaos and the crazy, your mind is working. And your mind is sending triggers to the rest of your body that says, hey, JoJo's still awake, so you need to keep working. And so your body never rests. That's why you're always tired. You're exhausted. Your mind hurts. It's oozing out your ears. You owe yourself a minute to take a break from whatever the chaos and the crazy is. So I didn't mean to get that far off the story. I'm sorry. So she was having this difficult time. And I was like, why don't you take a break from the TV, take a break from this person, and then see how you feel. See how you feel when you're not engaging in the things that cause you anxiety. Because if you never read The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, please get it. It says your circle of influence and your circle of concern. Just for the day, I want you to focus on your circle of influence. That means those are the things that you can immediately change. You cannot change the outside world. You can change your inside world and how you react to that. Because peace is priceless. You understand? And so this is the problem. I need to start here. And then when I start here, everything else in my body is going to line up. It, it cannot not line up. If you begin to think differently, you become more aware of your body. And then your body says, yeah, girl, now we on the right path. And your body will begin to tell you the things that it needs to survive and to get you where you need to be. But if you don't pay it any attention, it's going to scream out to you. High blood pressure, diabetes, overweight, um, back pain, foot pain, arm pain, migraines, toothaches, all of that. It's going to come in the book. I guarantee you, please Google it. Your body speaks to you. And if you want to go really deep, please read a book called Your Body Keeps Score. That's, that's a, it's a really good book about how your body does that for you. So if it is causing you the anxiety and the stress, take a break from it for, for just a second. Evaluate. Take a look at all your relationships and your, and your friendships. Absolutely. It is your mindset. And if your mindset says, I can... And so, listen... Don't allow your mama to drive you crazy. Don't allow your auntie, your cousin, your husband, your best friend. Don't allow them to drive you insane because they that's what they enjoy. Some people enjoy the chaos and the crazy and the drama and the problems. They enjoy that. that their body is used to that. Your body may not be. You may be having a hard time living in that stressful state where they're thriving in it. Because this is what happens... Okay, I know y'all been on me for a while, y'all ain't heard this. But when you start to complain and you start having anxiety attacks, your body produces that chemical, right? Your body becomes addicted to that chemical that you give it. It becomes addicted to what happens in your body when you stress and when you complain. It creates a chemical. Your body absolutely adores it. The more you do it, the more your body craves it. And should you choose not to complain or have an anxiety attack, your body's going to be like, excuse me, we ain't had an anxiety attack, or we ain't stressed about nothing in 30 whole minutes. Let me go find something for you to stress about. <laughs> because your body needs that drug. And that's why on this journey, as you begin to acknowledge yourself, as you begin to see who you are and where you want to go, as you begin to honor yourself with yourself, Wherever you may be, if this is your day one and we're excited about your day one, if this is your day one, I want you to understand that you're finding the old you with the new you. And this is where you have to realize you got to be committed and not just interested. 
You got to be committed that you're going to follow it through. Which brings us to the quote of the day. Accept that channel so you can feel the exhilaration of the victory. Your mind is very powerful. Your thoughts are very powerful. You have created your current reality. Period. You live where you live because you said that's where I want to go. You have the job that you have because you said that's what you wanted. You have the mate that you have because you said that's what you wanted. Everything that you have is because what you spoke, but you thought it first, and then you were intentional about getting it. So just imagine if you could think a different thought, because every 90 days your body reproduces itself to something new. So if we could just think a new thought every day one for the next day ones of 90, do 90 day ones. Because we're taking baby steps and we're celebrating all victories today. So the question today becomes, because I got questions today. Yesterday we had fun because you can enjoy, you can absolutely enjoy this journey. But I want you to understand, I want you to take seriously that you are important to you. Your journey should be important to you and your destiny, it is yours. And you have got to protect that sacred space that belongs only to you. Right. And you have to, y'all, you got to tell yourself consistently. If I don't tell myself consistently, I can allow other people to pull me down their rabbit hole with them. Girl, did you see the news? No, what was on it? Girl, they done said this. And if I do not stop the conversation, guess where JoJo's going to be? With Debbie down at Negative Nelly having a pity party and then I'm stressed out. And guess what happens? Remember we talked about the silent treatment the uh, day before? What was that on the 5th? We talked about, is the silent treatment working for you? Then here you go, and you done accepted something, and now I'm passing it down. I'm stressed out, so my kids are stressed out. Your dog's stressed out. Your cat, everybody in your household stressed out, because you are. You have got to be mindful of what you're feeding yourself consistently. I know you love mama. I know God in heavens, I do. <laughs> I know you love her. I know you love your daddy, your auntie, your grandma. But they are driving you insane. <laughs> and they are insisting that you inherit their crazy. No. This is where you say, Grandma, Ma, thank you for the foundation that you have given me. However, at this point in time, I am going to do this thing. And we do it all in love and respect. But if you're not mindful of your energy that you have, you'll be exhausted every day, all day. And it is a consistent thing. I'm not saying I don't have bad days. I do. I, and I have Kiba's on here. I have Kiba. I have Tashana. I have Valerie. I have Cree. I have my purpose partners that on speed dial that I can call and say, you know what? I'm, I'm feeling some type of way today. And guess what? We work our way up out of that. So if it's a day where I need the support or a day where they need to support, be, um, be supported, I'm always mindful, but I also have to be consistent with my thought process. Jojo, why are you? And that's why you got to ask yourself the question, why are you thinking this way? And who told you, y'all know my question, who told you that was true? Why do you believe that? Why? And I want you to validate that answer with yourself. Why are you believing that though? Just so the questions, the fill thought of the day. I got questions. Ask yourself, and the question is twofold. Ask yourself this Am I in a space that fulfills my destiny? And are you in a space that is currently fulfilling your destiny? Question this is the second part. Or are you in a place that places you further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? So are you where you need to be to fulfill your destiny or are you on the path to fulfill your destiny? Now, if you say, Jojo, I don't know what kind of damn path I'm on. I don't know where I'm at, boo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just standing here looking around and it looks like a field of craziness. Then you're in an absolute wonderful place to figure out what it is that you do want. You're in an amazing place now to make your path what it is that you need it to be for you. Not what you need your path to be for your mama. Not what you need your path to be for anybody else. What do you, Jojo, need your path to be for yourself? You cannot figure that out if you never ask yourself the questions. 
Some of us will never ask ourselves the questions because we are absolutely afraid of the answer that we're going to give ourselves. And you can say, but Jojo, I prayed and God has not given me the answer. So let me help you out. If you're always stressed and you have anxiety attacks, you're always depressed, you're always complaining, there is no space for the answer to ever come to you because your mind is filled with everything of what you cannot do. I want you to then understand. So if you're standing in the field of crazy, you don't know your path, you don't understand your next step, I want you to stand there flat-footed, chest out, correct. Come on, Tashana. Stand there flat-footed, chest out, shoulders back, head up, chin up, and realize that what you have, what you have in front of you, you used all of your power to create that. Now, I want you to feel the power of all your greatness. Now, you may look around and say, Jojo, well, I ain't, ain't much to celebrate, but boo, you created it. You used all your power to create everything that you see in front of you, everything that's surrounded by you, every relationship, every friendship. You used your superpower to create that. So today, stand flat-footed, chest out, shoulders back, head up, and use your power to create what you really want. And you cannot tell me you're not powerful because you are so powerful, you have now convinced yourself that you have no idea or no control in on this earth to do anything any different. That's how powerful you are. So for today, can you just accept that you have a superpower to change worlds, to change your entire to change your entire family? You. Right. We're not that. We are thriving and living. You're not a victim. I ain't a survivor. Honey, I'm thriving and living because I have overcome those challenges right and now we are in the as the quote say we are feeling the exhilaration of the victory because the minute you say day one i'm not fixing to do this no more is the day one that you get to have the victory over the thing you assume you've got to get to the end of it and overcome it all and then you had the victory boo it's, your victory is today it's day one that you say i don't want to think that way anymore that's it ta-da Woohoo! let's have a party that's it but you've got to be willing to ask yourself those questions. How did you get here? <laughs> Why do you stay here? Whose truth is all of this? Is it yours or did you inherit it? Did someone else pass down their silent treatment to you? You know, you inherited your mama's. This is the way a wife's supposed to be. You inherit your daddy. This is how a woman's supposed to be. For fella, this is how a man's supposed Did you inherit a silence from everybody else? That doesn't speak true to your soul. You got to be willing to ask those questions. And then see the next steps. Because your answer and your abundance is in the instructions. But if you never seek, you will never find. If you never go, you will never know. And in all of that, you got to ask the question first. And the answer, the abundance is in the instructions that you will receive. It's that simple. I don't want us to make it complicated. So on this wonderful Thursday, it's an amazing day. What better day than today to start asking yourself these questions? It's still time to join the um, Self Care is Gangster journey. Go to bit.ly forward slash gangster care and you can still get those um, prompts every day. I'll be starting a new version next week. But you can finish out the five days strong if you so choose. And we're asking questions today. Ask yourself this question. Am I in a space that fulfills my destiny or that places me further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? And if you have no idea what your destiny is, if you have no idea what your purpose may be, you don't even know why you're here on this God's green earth. You are questioning all things. That's good. Ask the questions. And then once you ask the questions, I want you to be quiet to hear the answer. The answer is there, but because of the anxiety, the stress, the confusion of everything else around you, you feel like you don't have time to pay attention to the answer. It's there. The answer is in the instructions. <laughs> the abundance is in the instructions. So let's ask questions today. 
And let's, uh, let's go with my one of my favorite quotes now. I've learned never to close my mind to any idea simply because it's miraculous. Open your mind up and accept that today is a miraculous day. Today is your day one. You are celebrating your victory today that you're thinking different than you did 35 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago. It's an exciting time. You should be happy. You should be like, <laughs> y'all tried that belly roll class again yesterday. Do something fun. Relax that stress off of you, boo. You can have an amazing journey, okay? It is, it is whatever you say it's going to be. If you constantly say, I can't, your brain is going to constantly give you the things that you cannot do because you said it. Be mindful of your words. Be consistent with what you're saying to yourself. If you're consistently saying the negative and the bad and I can't, it will consistently show up. And then I need you to take a look around who is bringing it to you. Just because they bring it to you, you don't have to accept that. You don't. You can say, no, no, thank you. I don't want that. No, thank you. I, I don't want to participate in that conversation today. And if you're not strong enough to say that, boo, because it took me a minute, a long, some years to be able to say that. I simply redirect the conversation and or I do not answer the phone. Because I, I don't want to participate because I know the energy that it's going to bring. So if you've been with me for a while, we talk about our energy bucket. So today, right now, you have 100% in your energy bucket, right? You have 100% to give for the entire day. In 24 hours, you wake up with 100% of your energy. Be mindful of how you spend it. Just like in a grocery store, you know how you tally up? If you know talking to grandma is going to cost you 75% of your energy because you're going to be exhausted because she's going to tell you every bad thing that you just saw on the news, save your 75%. For another day. Hold on to that energy. Build up a reserve. So that when you finally talk to grandma. If she takes 75% off the top. You're not exhausted from it. If you know you got to talk to negative Nelly. Your cousin. Your co-worker. Your girlfriend. And that taking energy out of your bucket. And here you are. It's 12 o'clock. And you're down to 25%. And if you a mama. If you a wife. A friend. Whatever other title you got. It still got to get a piece of that. And you wonder why you tired and exhausted at the end of the day. Boo, you done spent all your energy money. Just like you protect your bank account and somebody come in there. Now, what are these late fees? What are these fees for? You need to be mindful of your energy bucket and how you're spending that. Absolutely, Miss Forney. Come on. What we feed our thoughts, it will absolutely be. And if you do not believe that statement, why don't you take a look around you? Because what's around you is absolutely what you thought last week, last month, and last year. So be mindful of your energy bucket today. This is your day one, okay? This is your day one. Don't spend all your money on somebody <laughs> that ain't got nothing. They account always in the negative. And as Oprah Winfrey says, if somebody says <clears throat> that you're full of yourself, take that as a compliment. Because I am so full of myself, I now have overflow, and I am free to serve you from all the extra that I have left over. So today you are full of yourself. I want you to realize you got 100% in your bucket. Honey, you are the doorkeeper of yourself. You are the small business owner. You are the CFO of how much you're going to spend on this and that. Honey, you better protect your money and your energy. Your cup, When your cup starts to run over, now you can serve. Now you can give a little extra. And in the beginning, be careful. It's going to be hard. You're like, well, doggone, she done took all my energy. Yep. Take a minute and give yourself some energy back. That may mean my kids know when I lock myself in the bathroom and they hear that them sounds coming out, leave me alone. I'm replenishing my energy. Take, honey, take you a detox bath where you release all of those things. Fill your bathtub, put a little peroxide, a little baking soda, soak in there for 30 minutes. It will rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. You cannot be to the world what you cannot be to yourself. It cannot be. It cannot be. It will never be. You will be stressed, mad, angry. And next thing you know, you're an angry, mad black woman, white woman, purple woman. You just angry. And don't nobody know why. 
because you ain't got no money. You spent all your energy and you don't know how to replenish it. So be mindful. So on this wonderful Thursday, absolutely wonderful day, the quote of the day, accept the challenges so you can feel the exhilaration of victory. Today is your day one. Let's get excited about that. Today is day one. And just for a few minutes, you allowed yourself to think of the possibilities. You allowed yourself to realize that you are a powerful man. I'm powerful, girl. Go stand out there in the sun and feel the blessings of the whole earth coming down on you. Stand flat-footed and receive all your power this day. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And the fillest thought of the day, y'all. We're asking questions today. Ask yourself, am I in a space that fulfills my destiny? One. Or am I in a place that places me further on the path of a destiny to be fulfilled? Ask the questions. Your abundance and the answers are in the instructions. Now, once you get the instructions now, y'all know the next step. You got to be willing to do the work of the answer. Because you, you was bold enough to ask the question. You got to be bold enough to do the work of the answer. Okay? You got to be bold enough to do the work of the answer. So on this wonderful Thursday. I hope this has helped somebody. If it has, please let me know so I know I'm not just talking to myself. If you've enjoyed the show, please make sure you share it because sharing is caring. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. They can binge watch all the Fearless Morning Shows. Y'all, in the month of May, I know we're on the seventh day, but the month of May, um, if Chantel is on here, I will be with Chantel tonight at seven o'clock uh, on Facebook Live. I will, and I got two, um, I got a, I got an anthology book coming out in May at the end of the, at the end of this month. And I have another one coming out next month. Um, and then I have two more, um, the Queens round table is coming up this month as well as I got one more. So there'll be a few places where you'll be able to see, um, I think one of them cost the Queens round table. There's a fee for that, but the rest of them are free. I will be posting those today. Um, so that you can catch up with me and see where I am hosting virtual events or being a part of a virtual event for the month of May. Yes, Miss Chantel, I cannot wait. You're welcome, Tashana. Tashana is my soul sister, honey. Thank you, Miss Wanda. Tashana, this is, and you need one of these in your pocket. One of them friends, and she, Tashana will give you the shirt off your back. And she will have no problem doing it, honey. She will give it to you, won't tell a soul, and go on about her business. But, oh, when it's time to get gangsta, <laughs> Tashana is the one you need in your pocket because she takes no junk. She does not apologize for it, and she ain't fixing to. <laughs> she was the one when I left my first husband said, oh, I wish he would come over here. I got something for him. He don't want to come to my house. I was like, Tashana, you don't understand. He will kill us, honey. She said, honey, he got to get in here first. <laughs> you need a Tashana in your life. <laughs> I promise. I promise you do so. I love you, sister. All right. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Thursday. Catch me tonight at 7 o'clock. Chantel, if you have the link where you post it below, and um, I will post it again. It's tonight at 7 o'clock. We're doing a Facebook Live, and I think it's uh, the cat got your tongue. So we're going to have a great time over there as well. Um, and then I will post all the other places that you can find me for the month of May. So, uh, and one of them... I don't know if I told you guys. So I was originally supposed to be in Curacao today. No, next week. I was supposed to be in Curacao today for my first international speaking. I was so excited. Of course, then this lovely virus hit, so I cannot travel there, but it will be virtual. Um, so I'll be posting the information for that as well. And she posted the link at My Fearless Future. That's the page that we will be on this evening at 7 o'clock. So, um, and then the Curacao event... It still will be virtual, and I will post that information as well. I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with me. I can't do this by myself. I cannot. I am my sister's keeper, just like my sisters are my keeper, okay? So I hope you guys share the show because sharing is caring. And if your friends and family do not have Facebook, send them over to the YouTube channel. We do have podcasts wherever podcasts are found. Apple, your Android, Podbean. It is the Live Past Crazy Show, and so you can catch up on some shows over there. I hope you have an amazing Thursday. I want you to be peaceful, period, because there's nothing after that. Just be peaceful, boo. Everything else will line up when you 
line up. Uh, I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys tonight at 7 o'clock. Have a good one.